something amazing that we are taught by the beautiful lips of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ إِذَا أَحَبَّ عَبْدًا ابْتَلَاهُ Indeed, when Allah loves a slave or a worshipper of his, he tests him. Testing meaning difficulty and hardship comes in your life, not because he's punishing you, but he is examining you, testing you, giving you opportunity to pass with flying colors such that you can earn paradise. And you would have an elevation of status in paradise if you had become a person who was forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the ranks in paradise also differ. Those who have been through and endured much more and they have been patient and praised Allah and continued to have hope in Allah, calling out to Allah and they died in that condition. Allah will definitely give them a status that is very, very high, much more elevated than others because of the calamity and the difficulty that they were chosen to go through. So take difficulty and hardship in your stride. Here is another narration that the Prophet ﷺ mentions. He says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Idamul Ajr Ma Aidamil Ibtila. The greatness of reward is connected to the greatness of the test. The greater the test, the more the reward. Which means when Allah has made you go through huge tests, great challenges, a lot of hardship, for as long as that is drawing you close to Allah and you are becoming closer to Allah, you have become a better person. That was never a punishment, but rather it was rewarding. It's something that Allah will grant you favor in lieu of. My brothers and sisters don't think that every difficulty and every hardship is actually a punishment from Allah. It is not. Those difficulties and hardships that come about where a person becomes distant from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a person starts questioning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those are the ones that may be a punishment. But where you are becoming closer to Allah, it brought you to your knees in repentance, it made you a person who became more conscious of your maker, that was indeed a gift of the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, went through a lot of hardship. In fact, there was difficulty that started in his path even prior to his birth. Though he was the greatest of creation, the most noble of all prophets, his birth was by far one of the biggest gifts that we as his ummah have been blessed with. Subhanallah.